components of MS PowerPoint window. Microsoft PowerPoint consists of the following components. Quick Access Toolbar. It contains commands that are frequently used like Save, Undo, Redo, Print, etc. Title Bar. It displays the name of the presentation and three control buttons Minimize, Maximize and Close. Ribbon. It contains seven tabs Home, Insert, Design, Animations, Slideshow, Review and View. Each tab contains commands in different groups. Slides pane. The slides pane displays thumbnails of the available slides available in the presentation. The user can click on each of the slides to view them individually and edit to if needed. Slide area. The slide area is the working space in the middle. Here you can add slide elements such as text, pictures, animations and sound. Place holder. The area where you have a dashed border in which you insert the element is called a placeholder. Status bar. It displays information about the current slide number, total number of slides, view buttons and zoom slider. Saving the presentation. After completing the work, save your presentation so that you can use it later. The steps to save the presentation are, click on the file tab, click on the save as option, the save as pane appears on the right of the window. To save the file in the local memory drive, click on computer, is not selected and then on the browse button, the save as dialog box appears. Enter the file name in the file name text box. Select the location to save the file, click on the save button. The presentation or file is saved. Closing the presentation. You have completed the work and saved the presentation. Now close the presentation, not the PowerPoint window. The steps to close the presentation are click on the file tab, click on close in the backstage view. Opening a presentation. As you know that once you have saved a file, it can be opened later. The steps to open an existing presentation are Click on the file tab, the backstage view appears. Click on the open option. The open pane appears on the right of the window. If the required file is listed in the recent presentations section, click on it or click on computer. Click on the Browse button. The open dialog box appears. Select the location where the required file is saved. Select the file. Click on the Open button. Slide Layout The slide layout in PowerPoint is the arrangement of all the items that prepare your slide. Slide layouts contain formatting of text including body text, bulleted lists, and titles. Tables, charts, smart art graphics, movies, sounds, pictures and clip art. PowerPoint provides the nine inbuilt slide layouts given below. Title slide, title and content, section header, to content, comparison, title only, blank slide, content with caption, picture with caption. The steps to select the slide layout are Select the slide if more than one slide are there in the presentation in the Slides pane whose layout you want to change. On the Home tab in the Slides group, click on drop down arrow of the Layout button. A grid of slide layouts appears. Click on the required layout. The selected layout is applied on the slide. Adding a new slide. While creating a presentation, you need to insert new slides. You can use any number of slides in the presentation. The steps to add a new slide in the presentation are On the Home tab in the Slides group, click on the drop-down arrow on the New Slide button. A grid of slide layouts appears. Click on the desired layout for the new slide. 
a new slide with the selected layout appears in the window. Shortcut. To insert a new slide, Ctrl plus M, Ctrl plus Enter. Delete a slide. Extra or useless slides can be deleted from the presentation. The steps to delete a slide from the presentation are in the Slides pane, right-click on the slide that you want to delete. The context menu appears. Click on the Delete Slide option or click on the slide that you want to delete and press the Delete key on the keyboard. Inserting the text box. If you have inserted the blank slide which doesn't contain any placeholder to type in, you can insert a text box in the slide to add text. The steps to insert a text box in the slides are Select the slide in the Slides pane where you want to insert the text box. Click on Insert tab. In the text group, click on the text box button. Drag the mouse on the slide where you want to add the text to draw the text box. The typing cursor starts blinking in the text box. Type the text in the text box and click anywhere outside the text box to exit. Running a slideshow MS PowerPoint gives the option to present the series of slides in a slideshow. All the slides in the presentation are displayed one by one in a full screen on a slideshow. Steps to run a slideshow are Click on the Slideshow tab In the Start Slideshow group Click on the From Beginning button to run the slideshow from beginning or From Current Slide to run the slideshow from the slide which is selected or open in the PowerPoint window. Shortcut To run the slideshow from beginning F5 To run the slideshow from current slide Shift plus F5. You can also click on the slideshow icon on the status bar of the PowerPoint window to run slideshow from the beginning. To move the slides, press the page up or right arrow key to move forward and page down or left arrow key to come backward. Press the ESC key to quit the slideshow. Closing the PowerPoint window. To exit the MS PowerPoint 2013 window, click on the Close button on the title bar of the window.